Tonight, I we'll have five minutes to explain what means robotics in the underwater world. So you will, um, I hope you will understand. And we have the, the, the prototype up there. It's the first time uh, we, the, the prototype is out of the lab. So if you want to, to have uh, some experience, uh, you are more than welcome. Um, basically, what we do at uh, UWARE, we merge three different worlds, three very different worlds. One is robotics, the other one is AI, and the other one is underwater. So, if you remember in the past, we had uh, already three main revolutions. Uh, actually, I was lucky enough to be part of two, uh, two revolutions. The first one was obviously computers. Uh, the second one was the internet, the web, and, uh, and everything uh, which comes after that. And the last one, it's uh, mobile devices. And I think we can all agree that uh, this revolution has uh, totally changed our world. Actually, I'm, and I'm not alone, um, I do believe that robots will be the next revolution. And actually, it's not only robots, it's mainly smart robots. So smart robots, it's, uh, it's possible today, uh, as we, we all know, that because now we have CPUs, now we have a lot of data, and actually we have a lot of algorithms, smart algorithm. And actually, uh, what will happen in a few months and a few years, uh, in some case, we will see a lot of robots everywhere. Uh, you maybe have a Roomba in your house today, in your apartment, to clean it. Uh, maybe you have a garden, and you have a Gardena or Uzvarna uh, robot as well. Uh, that's just the beginning, because these robots actually are very stupid. Uh, they have to follow a line in the garden, or they have to bump uh, against walls to, uh, to find and to map the... The, the, the room. Uh, actually, it's, it's uh, changing, thanks to AI uh, in many different sorts. We will see that a little bit later. Uh, the first thing we will see in terms of transportation, it's uh, smart cars and automatic autonomous cars. Um, but actually, we have to remember that 72% of the Earth is covered by ocean. It's not always like that. Actually, that's uh, maybe in the Maldives or Seychelles Islands. Uh, most of the case, and actually we work in the Northeast, so I can tell you that it's not a, a, at all like that. But actually, something for sure is that 95% of the ocean is today totally undiscovered, unexplored. So 95%, so that means uh, we know the borderlines, we know the seashores, but after that, uh, it's totally empty. Uh, and that's something we are working on at uh, UWARE uh, at the moment. So this is the first product uh, we are launching. Um, it's called the U1. Um, and actually, all the words are very important in the sentence. So it's smart, uh, because actually it's autonomous. The second thing, it's cost effective. So that means it costs only a few thousand euros. And you will see after that that it's very important that we remain very cost effective. It's light as well. So that means it's 12 kilos. So that means one guy can carry it. And actually, uh, we call that an AUV, that means Autonomous Underwater Vehicle. So, uh, in a few words, and again, please come uh, upstairs to see it uh, in real life. Um, it's, uh, it's very important because in the underwater uh, environment, we have no GPS, we have no communication, no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi, nothing. Uh, if a car can be autonomous with a LiDAR, uh, it's pretty difficult to do that underwater, so that means we have to change everything. So the, 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 the robot, the drone, uh, has many cameras and can map all this environment in real time. Uh, that means we, we, we need to be able to discover and uh, recover and recognize different things. So if you take all this uh, system from Microsoft, from uh, Amazon, or from, uh, from Google, if you send a picture of anything, you will see that actually if it's something above the Earth, uh, actually all this algorithm will recognize with 95, 99% of accuracy, they will tell you that it's a chair, it's a dog, or it's a cat. If you take a propeller from a boat, if you take any kind of fish, they will tell you that it's a fish, but they won't tell you if it's a fish uh, very uh, angry or if it's a, a dangerous one. They won't be able to make the difference between a dolphin or a shark, for instance. So that's something we have to work on uh, at the moment at uh, UWARE, and we are processing thousands and thousands of pictures to do actually what Google and, uh, and Amazon are doing for all the things we are seeing now, but we are doing that for the underwater world. So that means uh, computer vision is very important for us. SLAM uh, is very important for us. 
Um, given that it's an autonomous robot, we have to, 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 um, uh, to invent new things as well uh, for communication. Uh, we use acoustic modems, like the dolphins, to communicate between a diver and a robot, or between a robot and a robot, or a robot and a boat. So that's a lot of things. Um, our robot at the moment is able to go um, down to 150 meters. Rather soon, it's going to be 1,000 meters. Uh, that means we can address uh, most of the case we have in the North Sea or in the Mediterranean Sea at the moment. Uh, we plan to launch it uh, end of next year. There is a saying in our business, which is hardware is hard. So we all talk about software and uh, internet and mobile apps. That's actually very easy. And actually, robots and hardware is difficult. And if you had the underwater world on top of that, it's really, really scary. Um, just a few um, example of what we are doing. So obviously, the computer vision, as I said, it's very important to, uh, to be able to uh, recognize everything. But it's not only to recognize objects or animals that we will have in front of the robot. It's as well to optimize, for example, the transmission we have, the acoustic. Uh, we talk about a few, a few hundred boats. So it's like uh, in the past, if you remember, we had the fax machine. And the fax machine was le a little bit less than 10,000 boats. We talk about 400 boats underwater. So that means we won't be able to stream videos. We won't be able to uh, actually even uh, send uh, images. So we have to do a lot of things uh, with these very uh, low band bandwidths. And actually, uh, AI is very important for us as well to, uh, to optimize that. Um, so actually, this robot will be used for what? Uh, mainly for uh, to assist divers, so it's either laser, uh, laser um, scuba diver like this one, but actually it's quite often in the professional world as well. Uh, we of course we have to to, to deal with a, a very bad environment underwater. You all know that. Actually, the Meridian Sea is uh, is like that. It's just crazy. But if you dive. Um, and if you scuba dive, if, some, if we have some scuba diver in the room, we all know that now it's impossible to dive without seeing a plastic bottle uh, in the seabed. So that's just uh, incredible. Uh, we have to do something. Uh, humans, uh, it's pretty difficult. So robots will be able to do that. We do it. We do it actually already now. Um, another very important thing: uh, today you cannot insure a boat. So if we take uh, like a super tanker, 300 meter long, you can't insure this boat, and the boat cannot go uh, on the sea if you don't inspect the hull. And that means to inspect the hull at the moment, it's that you have to send divers, and they spend hours and hours and hours, and actually it's days and weeks just to inspect that. Obviously, it's a job that a robot can do. If a human can do it, a robot can do it. That's the saying. So you, we have to teach the robot to do it. Uh, another interesting fact, I don't know if you know that, but if you, when you access the internet, 95% of the, tra the internet traffic goes through cables that are actually under the Atlantic Ocean. That means we have, at the moment, I think, 12 cables. It's very, very easy to cut this cable. They are, not, uh, they are just lying like that. And you see the example on the picture. It's just that you have uh, an anchor, and it's very next to this cable. And obviously, it's very easy to break that. We had the problem um, in the Mediterranean Sea uh, two years ago with the cable uh, between France and Algeria. And Algeria is uh, just uh, dependent on France for the internet access. And they had no internet access during a few days just because of that, just because of something like that. Uh, another point, uh, you all know that security is uh, more and more important in the in, uh, underwater. Uh, in the Ile de la Réunion, for instance, in France, uh, all beaches are closed now. They are just closed. It's very bad for tourism, just because of the problem of sharks. There is no solution at the moment against sharks. It's, it's no solution. They have nets. It doesn't work. They have uh, special frequencies. It doesn't work. So robots may be a solution on that. Um, Seabed analysis, actually, we have a mission uh, that will start in, um, with a prototype in March this year uh, to find in the North Sea uh, a U-boat, a German submarine. Um, it's totally uh, unknown at the moment. And actually, that's the first mission, professional mission we have to find it. Only a robot can do the job. There is no visibility. There is a lot of ships uh, above. And you can't send divers. You don't have the right to send divers over there. So the robots are the only one uh, able to do it. Just to, to, to finish, 
five minutes, it's very short, so sorry to, to have to speak very fast. Uh, that's more or less a roadmap. Uh, we have, uh, so we started the company 18 months ago. Um, in again, in comparison with software, uh, hardware, and especially with AI, it's very, very le uh, long and uh, slow. Uh, so you see uh, the different milestone we had. At the moment, uh, we are finalizing the Beta 3, the latest prototype. This is the one we have upstairs. This project, it was just impossible to do it without Innoviris. They helped us a lot on the first phase, just to, uh, to study the feasibility study. Uh, now they are helping us in the second phase, just to, to, uh, to, to do the prototype. Uh, so again, thanks a lot for that. The next step we have, now we are looking for um, early adopters for the robots. So if you have anything to do with um, rivers, dams, uh, oceans, uh, I mean water, uh, we are very interested to, to discuss with you because that's, we need a lot of uh, exchange and uh, requirements and, uh, and discussion to do the best prototype uh, possible. Thank you. <laughs>